The following podcast is a member of the Pokecasters Network. Pokecasters Network, supporting Pokemon content creators, their shows, and the community of Pokemon fans. To find out more, check out pokecastersnetwork.com or find us on Twitter and Facebook. Before this episode of the Reckless Roller starts, I'd like to take a minute to shed a light on Black Lives Matter and the protests going on worldwide right now. Um, I'd like to ask everyone to please go to blacklivesmatter.card.co. That's card with two R's. Um, Over there, there are a lot of resources, um, tips for protesters, uh, places that you can text or call to um, give your thoughts to government officials on this, uh, places to donate, petitions to sign. And I ask that um, anyone who is capable of donating or doing any of that does that. Uh, This is a very, very important fight that needs as much support as it possibly can. Uh, I don't want to take any more of your time before the episode starts, so I hope you all enjoy the episode, uh, and thank you for listening. everyone welcome to reckless rollers you know we're we're doing the thing uh i'm scott i am apparently the genre master in this i Ah. finally figured out what the title was for monster punk and this is likely the uh last episode for this arc (laughs) (laughs) you are now a g uh, is that a gm right (laughs) yeah i guess so you're double GM then. Oh boy. Uh, so we'll just go up to Discord again. Uh, feel free to say who you are, what you play as, and where we can find you on the internet if you so choose to say. So hi, I'm Ginny. Um, I play. Uh, if you say I had to. Th- did totally not have to think about my uh, own character's name. What are you talking about? Anyway, I'm from the Netherlands, and um, you can find me as Ginny Voss on assorted social media. And I am Mars Rover. I play as Daisy. I'm Shine. I play Yolana. Hello, I am Anaru. I play Leon and also Noel. And you can find me on Twitter at Adurin Region or uh, the one podcast thing that I should totally be making episodes for. Uh, not a <laughs> scratch. Yeah. It's it's very cool. You should all go listen to it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so last we left off, there was a door and somebody opened it. I forgot who. And then we ended it there. And there was a lot of other stuff that happened, too. I can't remember off the top of my head. Well, that a 10 <laughs> summary. It was, it was uh, daddy, like, parent issue time, I think. Yeah, parent issues, and also Daisy blew up a, a nobleman. <laughs> Fair. So, I guess we'll start this off with uh, the door opening. Like the little hatch door to the very top of the tower. You open it, and the light is just beaming down on all of you. It takes a minute for you guys to adjust your uh, sight. And once your vision does adjust, you see, with its back to you, a large four-winged creature. And uh, it's humanoid. And its body, all of it except for its head and its wings, are encased in armor. Oof. It's holding a very long, glowing spear that appears to be crackling with electricity. 
and its back's just to you. It appears to be speaking to something. Although you can't see anything that it's talking to. And you over here, we did what we had to do. We couldn't let the heretics live. Did what they... Did what they... They... Did they just... And I look at the rest of the party. The being continues. From here I can see everything. I can see... I can see the... The Draconic Mountains, the Fey Woods. I can even see the scar. The scar where all the demons are now hiding after we've defeated them previously. My scouts have said that they're gathering power. They intend to get stronger, take everything back. But we needed those people. We needed them. They would have been useful in fighting them off. So while I don't quite agree with the fact that we destroyed the town, I do know that it needed to be done. I'll send my next correspondence later. And then he snaps his fingers, and two angels fly towards him. He says, Bartleby, Loki, find the survivors. We may need them. And one of the angels just points behind this four-winged being's shoulder. It says, it appears they found you. He turns around and says, Oh, well. I know we'll that you, I know that you all may be seeking vengeance, but instead, should we just talk? And he's flying a little closer to all of you. Not in a threatening manner. <laughs> but he does appear to just want to talk. Hmm. Well, do you have a uh, do you have four chairs? Well, three, I guess. Daisy doesn't need a chair, but Daisy crushes the chair. <laughs> well, you also have two NPCs with you. So oh, chairs. right. There's others. Eh. There's now we have four, four chairs. Forget them. <laughs> so the uh. The being just snaps its fingers again, and what appears to be a dining table just materializes out of nowhere at the top of this tower, and there's significantly more chairs than you've asked. <laughs> there's about 15 I think, chairs. I think at this point, uh, Noel pops out. Uh, and he, he, Noel just appears by himself and sees a dining table. It's like, all right, chow time. All right, uh, what's on the what's on the docket? I do not eat, but if you wish to eat, here. And he claps his hands, and what appears to be a like a four course meal just also materializes. Yeah, atop the table. Do you have any chicken nuggets? He, uh, the being chuckles and gestures at pretty much everything that's on the table and says, anything that you could desire, I can bring. 
so at, at this point, uh, while Leon is still like contemplating the offer, Noel grabs about like four or five plates of food and says, "All right, uh, Leon, you take care of like the big brain stuff. I I, I gotta I gotta date with this," and then walks <laughs> off. Is Noel just sitting at the table, or did he just wander over to the edge of the table? No, I think I think uh, while I feel like all of us are at like one side of the table, and Noel's on the complete other side. <laughs> so Noel's <laughs> just standing next to the the being, just like rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I think that. Um... Like, as you guys might have taken a step closer to the table and interacting, and if you see still standing in the, uh, in a door opening, and they've gone really tense, and they 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 have their arms held at their sides, but their fists are bald, and they're just they're very pale and staring at this angel, and and very much trying to hold themselves back, and there's actual anger showing in their face. And the being says, Fear not, my child. I do not come to you with anger. I come to you with an offering for peace. I will say my peace, and if my words do not pacify you, if they don't sit well with you, then we can get on with the fight. I'm... I'm... Not your child. Or... Why? Daisy's still trying to figure out how to eat the nuggets that she asked for. (laughs) So a little port opens at the bottom of Daisy's, like, metal husk. (laughs) With a little input food here sign. Uh, I try to vacuum up the food. I think at this point, uh, Noel, very interested in how Daisy eats, starts like chucking chicken nuggets at Daisy's like mouth, trying to like toss it in there. <laughs> you, you hear like you hear like shredder noises. <laughs> uh, what is Joanna doing? I don't know. Oh, all right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the being this this archangel looks at Aviste and says, "You ask why? Are you are you asking why?" Why we had to uh, destroy the town? Had to. You had to destroy the town? We were given orders to Mm -hmm. seek out and destroy all heretics. The prophet in your town was harboring these fugitives and was not cooperating. He also refused to provide us with the offering that we requested as punishment for his insubordination. However, I see that the offering is here now. And he looks over at Daisy in this combat drone husk. Don't! Do not touch her! No... Oh, I won't. Like I said, I'm just here to talk. What is what is Medi doing at this point? How is she doing with all this? Medi is still kind of like in the doorway, trying to stay hidden, and holding a semi-automatic rifle. Nice. Okay, cool. (laughs) And the Rakshasa is right behind her, 
because he has no weapons. Mm. I think I look at the others and I just... You're just gonna... He killed everyone! Or they, is it a they or a he or a she? Is it like... The being says, refer to me how you wish. Uh, you may call me Omidas. For that is the designation that I have been given. They um, killed everyone! Sorry. He didn't kill everyone. You're all here. And I believe just down the stairs are more from your village. Mm. I mean... I can, fr I can uh, free them from their corruption. Which you put there? We put them there because they were being... Insubordinate as well. However, we mm. did... We did, by doing so, protect them from the other creatures that have started eating the survivors. Now, I know that what we have done has deeply hurt all of you. And while we... While we did do it, while we can't quite take it back, there is a greater threat. And we needed everyone to be willing to assist if we needed. I don't know how to feel about this. Hmm. So, uh, essentially, if what he's saying is unnerving all of you, it, it's somewhat supposed to. Although, I think there might be like an insight type role that any of you can make to determine whether or not he's being fully honest. I, I, like... I don't think if he still believes him for a second, to be honest. Yeah, and that's totally fine. Like, they're just... Like, this is the guy who killed their whole village and caused that corruption that they're talking about. See, the funny thing is, I think we would differ on this, because I think... Like, a, like Leon doesn't really care too much. Mm. Right, so... From that perspective, I feel like Leon is much more likely to be, alright, talk to me. Let me see what you got. And we'll make a decision based on that. And Daisy's like six. Yeah. yeah. I am six. <laughs> Daisy needs to be protected. No, D Daisy's Daisy's still having chicken nuggets thrown at her. So. Yeah. And there's still shredder noises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in the Poor background, baby. if someone actually starts mowing a lawn, I can just try and cut that and use it. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone did want to uh, roll like an insight type thing, you're welcome to. Uh, oh, sure. I, I, I would. Sure. Um, is that is that an actual skill or how does that work? Uh, I think it Maybe. should be. Because if it not... is, I would have oh, taken it instead of perception, pretty much. Uh, let's see, primary contact deconstruction. Uh. Oh my god, there's an there's a, a negotiation skill called quipping. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh I think that deconstruction might actually be that. Wait. Is that... Uh 
Uh, so you're saying it's a negotiation? Uh, so it, it there is a negotiation tactic called deconstruction, and it says right. you analyze your target's actions and behavior, breaking down why opposing you is against their best interests in the long term. Your words are like a blunt mace slamming against the enemy's will to continue the fight. As oh, actually, sorry. <laughs> I just realized the thing. Sorry, go on. Uh, as a negotiation bonus, you may cause the target to suffer an additional amount of damage equal to the highest number of questions you've asked with the assess action during this combat. So basically, I, mean, I think that's more of an intimidation, even though there is an intimidation. I think negotiation is like its own animal when it comes to this. Yeah. As opposed to. Because I would think it'd be, if we're going by the normal skills, my guess is perception. I can just tell. Oh yeah, you do have that. Uh, oh, that's right. That yeah. aura. Special. Light of truth. Your vision can see through illusions and cre uh, created with orgon and highlights liars, catching them in the act. Well-intentioned or white lies uh, make it someone's outline line glow faintly, while acts of co uh, commonship and other deliberate lies with the intent to cause harm make subjects bloom brightly. If used in combat against invisible enemies, this will not remove the hidden status from them, but will tell you where they are standing. So you do see a uh, faint glow coming from him. He doesn't appear to be telling the whole truth. But he does seem to believe most of what he's saying. Fair. So it's, uh, I'll, I'll say that this glow, it's not red, it's not a malicious lie, it's more of a lie of omission, which mm -hmm. I, spe I feel would be more... It's a like, strawberry milk color. I was going to say more like a <laughs> pale green. I like that. Okay. He knows he's doing it. Just, you know, picking so, his word very carefully. Yeah. So it's more what he isn't saying. Mm hmm. And, uh, Joanna, you feel just an angry, like, coming from inside your mind, from Orphael. And he says to you, This man, he'll really do anything to get his way, won't he? Who said that? Uh, Orphael said that okay. in Joanna's mind. Ah, fair. Check. And at uh, any point, you're free to just have him pop out. But this being this uh, archangel known as Omidas continues. You see, there is a much, much greater threat at work here. Now, if you look over the edge here, and he will gesture to the edge of the uh, the tower, and he manifests some rails, so you don't, like, fall over from anything. He, uh, he gestures towards this very deep barking sound. Now, uh, this very deep, like, crevasse in the ground, and there's just a blood-red glow coming from it, within it. He says... This, this is the scar, the mouth of hell, it's where 
this is honestly where you guys all lost to begin with. It's where the demonic plague came out. It's where we had to come down and save all of your asses. Mm. And all we asked for was for you to follow the word. We asked for compliance. For you to not hide such heretics from us. Now the fact that none of you are directly responsible for this, I completely understand. However, the sins of one cannot be stopped by the ignorance of many. What do you call killing hundreds of people out of oh, anger? We call it rapture. Out of vengeance. What do oh, your... Da oh, Daisy's stopping her eating and she's, she's kind of concerned. We call it the rapture. Those who actually have followed the word, those who have sided with us, have gone to Elysium. They are with us now. You may call it rapture, I call it genocide. Mm. Well, two words can mean the same thing. I call it wrath, which is one of your sins, if I recall correctly. We did not do this out of wrath. We did this because we were told to enforce the word. And enforce it, we did. I've got a word for you. Bullshit. Murderer. Daisy fires her missiles. All right. <laughs> uh, going ahead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Going ahead and do your roll to hit. Wait, hold on, okay. Uh, what's my, hold on, let me read micro missiles again. <laughs> oh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, there we go. Base damage for it. All right, is it oh D twenty the hit? Uh, D ten. D ten. Shazam. Seven. Seven. All right. So that definitely hits, and I think seven allows bonuses. So uh, under the skill, does it say what the bonuses are? I assume it's just more damage. Yeah, a lot of damage. Alright, how much damage? So, like, base is four, and then there's, like, bonus one for an extra two, and then bonus two for another two, and then bonus three for another two. So I believe that makes it eight damage. Alright. The missiles strike this this being's armor, this, this archangel, strikes it directly in the chest. And once the smoke clears from these missiles, his face hasn't changed. However, he shakes his head and says, Unfortunate. Violence it is. I take a step forward to try and get between him and Daisy. It and Daisy. And I'm going to have everyone roll for initiative. All right. All right. So that's also with a 10, I believe. Two. Nine. All right. So I'm going to have to roll for Medi and Omidas. So Omidas also got a two. I got a 10. 
Nutty got a seven. So, Joanna is most likely going first. What did uh, Anaru get? Uh, it's one of those days, isn't it? A one. <laughs> oh, well, you'll be going on my luck. Days. Just went into the I mean, initiative it... roll. <laughs> you'll be going directly after Almadas. Uh, Medi rolled a seven, by the way. So, Joanna, what are you going to do? Let me open my shit. Um. Oh, uh, I'll say for flavor, uh, Almadas claps his hands and everything that he has manifested disappears. So now you are on a flat no. circular area. My no, not yet. Now Noel's bad. Good. We haven't had combat in a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's the first time I like used the, my the advanced tech. Piece. That's awesome, though. That is a really, really good tech. <laughs> what is the tech? Micro... Micro uh, missiles. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what did you want to do? I'll use sweet nothings, I guess. Hell. Oh. All right, go on ahead. Am and I, in, your... I guess I'm in range. Yeah, uh, it's it's basically a. Uh... Damn it! I gotta use meters. I'm horrible with meters, so it's uh, it, it's not a big arena. It's essentially. Oh god! I have to use math. What's diameter? I'd say it's like a probably... basketball football field type thing or not I said basketball basketball like is it like sm as small as a basketball court or as big as a football field it's about uh, it, it, it's about a basketball court in okay. length okay and a few of you can fly so you don't have to worry too much about that <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to use uh, Sweet Nothings, so go on ahead and roll your uh, d10 to determine if you're going to do additional damage. Nine. Alright, so you're going to do two, three, four, five damage to this uh, this creature. Oh yeah! And on top of eight, that's thirteen so far. Let me write that Are down. Are you whispering sweet nothings in its ear? And... What do, what charm do, though? Hmm? It does charm, so let's see what charm do. It's a mind condition. Uh, your offensive actions can't use the source of the charm as a target, primary or secondary, unless it is to heal them. Should the source of the charming uh, be defen uh, defen uh, defeated or otherwise stop fighting, the condition is automatically healed. All right, then. So it can't attack Joanna. Oh. Uh. Does that include, like, area of effect type things, does it say? Primary or secondary. So, I'd say that's a secondary target, in a sense. Okay. All right. That's, that's awesome, Joanna. Okay, so we'll say it, it works in this way. So you whisper these sweet nothings, and while you're doing so, the uh, the voice of Orphile also comes out to Omidas and says, If you kill me, I'll come back even stronger. And then the big man upstairs is going to have a few words with you, too. And, uh, yeah, he's he's a little, a little bit shaken from that. Shaken, not stirred. No, he's not stirred. 
All right. And uh, who rolled nine? That mm. was me. Oh, okay. That was you. Okay. All right. So, what are you going to do? So, I think Evista was fuming, and Ivanti has been sort of raring to go in the back of her, uh, in the back of their mind, just like sort of pleading with them to be let out because they really, 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 she really, really, really wants to kick this, this angel's ass, basically. Um, and I think that the moment Daisy's uh, missiles hit, uh, uh, and the creature makes, and the angel makes a move towards Daisy. Yvon, uh, Evista walks, strides over to stand between, uh, to stand between Daisy and the angel thing. And at that moment, uh, they start glowing, and Evista sort of uh, starts appear, apparating uh, around them in sort of like a, a protective way, and. I would like to, let's see, my simple action is to, um, what was it? Uh, I said, like, we went up in HP. Uh, I'm assuming that didn't, um, I'm assuming that didn't, that basically didn't uh, heal. Like, I'm still, I still have two damage in HP terms. No. You're healed. Oh, cool. So then I don't need to do that. That helps. Uh, simple action. Oh yeah, simple action would be shift. And then uh, utility action would be guard. No, actually, um, it would be aim. Use one target combatant and one off offensive action or offensive tech. Your next offensive action using that action or tech gains an advantage uh, to the test. As long as it designates the chosen combatant as primary target. You may also choose to aim at the target effect, uh, at the target area of effect, blah, blah, blah. So I'm basically giving myself advantage. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, use um, Heal Swing, which is one of my basic techs. And Yavanti uh, operates, and then as soon as they are, as she is um, physical enough, her, her tail lashes out and sort of tries to hit the angel to the side all right so and let's see if I, let's see if i can paint this word picture so aviste calls upon yavanti and yavanti wow. starts to manifest starts to become corporeal That's and while doing so coils up and while it's coiling up it's becoming more corporeal and during this coil up its tail just swings out and knocks the uh, knocks Omidas slightly off center, uh, off to the side. Yeah, right. and and uh, and um, the targeting is accurate, uh, accurate. So I think that means I get an extra die for that as well, does it? Uh, I believe so. So go on ahead and roll. Since you three. got advantage, uh, roll three d ten and take the highest. Oh, where'd you go? There you are. So, uh, yeah, roll 3d10 and take the highest. That's a 9. You got a 9? So, uh, what are the bonuses yeah. on that? Uh, so that's that uh, loads of extra damage and another charm. No, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's not I'm looking at the thing I just looked up. Uh, that's another, that's guarding. That, uh, so it's uh, for to bon up to bonus three, it would be five damage and guarding. Okay, and guarding it does uh, what in particular? Guarding. So uh, you get to use the guard action for free after the tech resolves. Uh, 
So basically, uh, and guard means that it gives disadvantage on an attack, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and what's the so, total damage? You inflict one disadvantage to all uh, offensive actions against you until the next turn. Multiple okay. instances of guarding all stack, so yeah. And then uh, for a nine... Let me see. Woo. Get to the top of my document. Um, that's plus two bonus effects. So that's four damage. Four damage total? Yeah. Okay. Because I get the base effects and two bonus effects. All right, so. And attacks against me have disadvantage now. All right. So what is the, uh, the next person up? So I believe that'd be Daisy. Oh, I got a two on my initiative. Yeah. Oh, wait. It'd be <laughs> Medi. It'd be Medi then. I forgot Medi existed. So. Again. <laughs> <laughs> she was waiting in the wings with the with the machine girl gun. So. So I believe what Medi is going to do is uh, she's going to enchant her semi-automatic rifle so that she can use magic missile. And it's accurate, so I rolled two eights. Wow. Nice. So uh she oh. fires multiple rounds at uh Omidas. And basically yells yells out, Count the shells, suck a duck <laughs> and uh start shooting at the wings. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I was quoting Dogma. <laughs> and I uh, start shooting at the wings, and one round hits each wing, so that's four damage oh, nice. total. And now it is uh, it's everyone's favorite combat drone. Not Daisy. All right. Daisy. Daisy. All right. What, let's shoot the boy with. Like... Oh yeah. My favorite uh, combat drone are the Amazon drones that deliver packages. <laughs> <laughs> so you got this feature. And death. <laughs> shoot the glowing red point. Uh, offensive techs do an additional one damage as part of their base against medium, elite, and boss NPCs. Oh, hell yeah. Go for it. Oh, wait. you That's what you're doing. You're adding an additional point of damage, so... Uh... Uh, it does the fe Is the feature like a whole action? I think that'll be a... Uh... You... Did you say it was a feature? Yeah, raptor feature. All right, and I don't think that'll count as a uh, offensive action. It'll probably be a no, utility action, if anything. Okay. So you yeah. can you can still use uh, an offensive action. All right. So there's that, and then we'll go for. Mm. No, might as well go all out. We will activate town burner. Oh boy, yeah. that sounds. Oh terrible. no! <laughs> it, it's a a five by five blast radius that does it does three damage and creates extreme terrain two in the area of effect until the end of your next turn. So I'm assuming you're moving up for that. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. So you move up. Go on ahead and. Uh... Roll your your dice for that. Oh, ten. Oh, gosh. nice, nice. Daisy is doing much better than Paxson in terms of rolls. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> so uh, we love that's, Daisy. That's going to be all bonuses. Uh, so tell me what the total damage is, including the plus one from the feature. The plus the feature that'd be thirteen. Nice. Plus the extreme Hell yes. terrain. Hell so, yes. Bloody. 
So I, I, I think I, I think I can describe this unless you want to. Oh, go right ahead, Mr. Storyteller. All right, so mm-hmm. Lord. Daisy flies towards Amadas, the archangel, and lets out a uh, just like this loud scream that's both mechanical and biological at the same time. And just a port opens up near where the food absorbing port was and outside of it comes a (laughs) flamethrower and while Daisy is just screaming this ear shattering screech just this large gout of fire comes out and envelops uh, envelops Amadas and in a uh, in a how uh what's the terrain thing by the way uh extreme terrain two so for two meters around amadas is just this ring of fire mm-hmm. just this bright... ring of fire you can and... see it now the <laughs> battle cry of legends <laughs> give me back my chicken nugget <laughs> 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 Four chicken nuggets. <laughs> and now it's uh, Omidas' turn. I'm only no, using. You, ain't. you never it's... mess with a girl's nuggies. It's not. <laughs> How is it? Not? Yeah. No, I'm joking. Oh, okay. I thought I thought there was. I thought I missed somebody rolling. So. This, uh, this archangel raises its spear, and it's going to use an advanced tech called Archangel's Prominence. Uh Uh-oh. Yay! So, it only has one effect. It has no bonus effects. And it can only be used once per combat. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, that's not a good I'm scared. And the effect is damage one and blind to all enemies in range. The ailment will not end naturally at the end of your next turn. So it's going to raise its uh, its like electric crackling glowing spear. And it's going to call out Destroy my tower, you are all blind. Blind to the bigger picture. Blind to well, me now. And a blinding white light just emanates from the spear. A blinding white light involves Joanna and she fucking dies. It only does no. one damage. <laughs> it does literally one damage. <laughs> yeah, and you probably don't have to w- roll for that, do you? It's I, the equivalent of shining a laser pointer in your eye. <laughs> basically. <laughs> uh, since it doesn't have bonus effects, I don't think I actually do roll for it. No, you wouldn't. Man, I need to make an online character sheet instead of editing PNG files. <laughs> so, everyone takes one damage and they are now blind, which I, bl- I believe is going to cause disadvantage for... Uh, yeah, an advantage yeah. on the attack. So you have advantage on us, and and we have disadvantage on you, basically. All right, so that'll cancel out the uh, disadvantage on Joanna. Yeah, now it can't use that ever again. <laughs> its batteries yeah, died. We're mm. also just blinded for the rest of the battle, so you know there is that. On. Unless uh, uh, unless somebody uses an ability to cure blind, it doesn't end naturally at the end of the next turn. Yeah. Uh, what's uh, question your question for the big boss in the sky? Um, what up? Is there a range on that, or is that enveloping the room? Its uh, range is sight, and it's floating in front of all of you. Okay, great. So, so is it? Wouldn't it just not be targeting Joanna though, because it's charmed by jo- Joanna? 
Oh. I mean, if John is still in front of him, along with all of you, then I feel like it would be, like, inadvertently targeting. Especially since uh, it's just casting this beam of light. Mm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all he can do. So, y'all take one damage. Can't really see. And uh, now it's uh, Leon slash Noel's turn. Okay, so... Yay, Noel. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of... Let's see. One of Noel's features is armored skin, which negates the first point of damage you would receive each round. Would this be counting as that first point? I think it would. Okay. So Noel is not touched. I, I as Leon, get the point, though. Yeah, you just get yeah. the one point. How's, right. how's that for for um, if he's staying a fancy? You both share HP, correct? Yeah, but only if I'm riding her and I didn't technically say that I was. But she is curled around me, basically. Uh, I feel like you both would take the damage. And since it's not currently shared, uh, when you combine or when you start riding, then uh, the combination will be factored in. That's fair. That's why I asked, because I thought that might be the case. All right, so what gonna do? So I spent the last uh, round figuring out what I would do, and then you made me go blind, and I'm not sure how effective it'll be anymore. <laughs> uh, I mean, disadvantage okay, sure. just means that you roll yeah. one die less, basically. Or yeah. that you roll two. If if you already rolled one die, then you would have rolled rolled two die and take the lowest. But yeah, that's yeah, basically. Okay. It. Um, where where am where is Leon and Noel in respect to uh, Big Baddie? Because I know we like separated because Noel was chucking chicken nuggets at well, Daisy. I, so I feel like Noel would be like fairly close because he was on the other side of the table. Uh, Leon would probably be a little bit closer to the uh, the door, I feel like. Does that sound fitting? Sure, okay. So, uh, so Leon... So, Noel is closer to the bad guy, I guess. Yeah, Noel's a bit closer to the bad guy. And is probably angry that all the food's gone. Gotcha. Um... <laughs> Let's change how I would do this. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. So for my simple action, I'm going to attempt to assess the. Uh, I'm, I'm going to assess them with us. Assess? This thing. So yes. you're basically going to check and see what in particular. Uh, do you have to roll uh, for that? It looks like it, yeah, because I have bonus. So I test perception once against any number of targets in range of sight. And base effect, you ask the GM a question about a single enemy, the battlefield, or the state of the battle itself. And then each bonus is an additional question. Okay, yeah, go uh, go for it. Cool. Um, so perception is... A thing would this count towards negativity or is this its own i feel like being blinded would affect your perception a bit yeah so. in hindsight that probably would um <laughs> all right so this is rolling with disadvantage gotta love it um seven. Oh, that's pretty good seven with so. disadvantage that's really good so that means what two questions i think it's is it base plus one Okay, yeah, so you could ask two questions. Great. Um, the first question in, relates to HP. I forget exactly what it is, but it's something along the lines of how much HP does the enemy have left. 
left. Uh, we'll say that he's uh, less than half now. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, that, open, is, what... that opening missile did a decent chunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was so awesome. Daisy um, finally gets to use their missiles. And they want flowers <laughs> this time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a couple questions I want to ask, but I can only ask one more. So, do so it says does do any enemy? So, but I think since I'm targeting specific enemy, uh, does this enemy have a weakness that can be exploited? A weakness that can be exploited. Uh, let's see. Uh, he doesn't appear to have any known weaknesses and by that I'm saying I don't know I, however he's uh, I'll, I'll go on ahead and uh, tell you one other thing about him that that isn't a uh, weakness since that question didn't really yield any answers the next move that he's gonna do is going to do a decent amount of damage to one target. Alright. Cool. If he's not taken out. Trick question, it's himself. <laughs> and, uh... I believe that'll make it top of the round. I'm going to do one roll to see if anything happens. Oh, wait, no, that was, uh... Because the assess was the oh wait yeah action. yeah uh, yeah then go on ahead and uh, continue with your tarn <laughs> sure uh so utility and offensive left okay so my utility is gonna be to aim I think so All my right. next offensive action using uh so choose one target combat and one offensive action or offensive tech um. So what do you feel like doing today? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna join in the missile fun, so I'm gonna use my own magic missile. Nice. Uh, that's gonna be my so I my target combatant is. And I believe uh, that's accurate too. So. Evil boy, yeah. So and one offensive action, and offensive tech, so that will gain advantage, and then my actual attack will be the magic missile itself, which is accurate so that's two accurates minus one for blindness means it's still advantage one yeah so cool. you do get advantage on this one hey doing the math all right let's see all right dice i did all this so that you could roll me something good don't give me some like one one combination You're come on get three ones. uh eight four so that'll be an eight nice that's good. So that's going to be, uh, what? Another uh, bonus? I forget if it's plus one or plus Eight is plus two. Okay, so I, I think that means you do two additional damage, right? Yep, so that's four total. All right, so... Yeah, he, uh, you've, you have uh, Noel just fire these rockets in what would appear to be a blind state. However, his Sharingan activates. No, it, it doesn't really. <laughs> uh, he's scanning Amadas a bit. And the scan causes him to be able to actually see where he is. So he fires these rockets and, much similar to how Medi did, strikes all four wings. No. Oh. And, uh, did you have anything else you were going to do, or was that all your stuff? Uh, Noel has some witty line that I can't think of, and that'll end my turn. Alright, so, Noel says, witty line. Yeah, there you go. And everyone laughs. Ha 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 ha. No. Even, even no. Amadas, I feel like... he goes, ha ha. <laughs> no, <laughs> Noel says, I put one card face down and end my turn. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and anyone who gets the joke, which now does not include Amadas, laughs. 
Uh, I'm literally staring at like three boxes full of cards. So. <laughs> All right, so That's now, fair. now, uh, right before Joanna's turn, I'm gonna do one thing. Uh, no, uh, you're not. Don't do things. <laughs> so uh -oh. I was, I was gonna roll to see if any reinforcements show up because you're fighting atop a tower in the sky and there's a bunch of angels. Gosh nearby. darn it! I knew I should have asked about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nothing shows up. Let's oh, go! Really? Oh yeah! Ignore my gosh darn it. Thank so, you, Dice. Joanna, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna fucking kill this bitch. Yes, uh, do it! Uh, hang on, I gotta check what the fuck my Valorous Song does and how what consequences it'll have. While Shine's checking on that, I just found this, like, very... Interesting, like, I feel like, oh, my roll was really good, it did 4 damage, and then I think back to Mars, like, basically throwing a nuclear bomb and having a 13 point shot. <laughs> yep. Shy. That's how I feel. I mean... But then again, what I'm really good at is healing, not damage at the moment. I mean... I'm, this is only my second turn, right? Yeah, this is your yeah. second turn. Gotcha. Th this might be the... <laughs> only other turn because <laughs> like i can't i cannot use my limit until the third turn if i remember correctly that's correct okay yeah let's see i'm gonna compare my shit <laughs> okay oh, what did i say so i said i was gonna use valor song let's see hmm it might yeah valor song might be the play hmm you also have a uh, simple action and utility action Shit, what can I even do with that? That'll be useful. Uh, I think uh, you can aim. Like, in this yeah, yeah. scenario. Simple action, I think, is uh, movement or anything that's listed on the playbook thing as a simple action. You can do two simple actions or two utility actions, but doing uh, two utility actions would mean you, you can't attack. Right. Um, I can't remember. Was there anything in this kind of like lock on where you like focus on an enemy and like you, you have you get advantage on your rolls or some shit? That'd be aim. So aiming, yeah, aiming is okay. a utility. So can yeah. I aim and valorous song? Yeah. All right, I want to do that and hope to God that shit doesn't get fucked because then it only does four damage. Oh well, okay, 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 okay. Well, okay, okay. How many bonuses did I get off of Sweet Nothings last time? I believe you got two from uh, oh. from an eight. Okay. All right. So yeah. Okay. I think Valorous Song is the play because that high roll on um, the other move did the exact same amount of damage as the base in Valorous. So I think we're gonna aim and Valorous. All right. Go for it. Hell yeah! I don't have to make a roll to aim. It's just aim, right? Uh, no, you, you just aim, you get advantage. Cool, d10 time. Mm, two. So that'll be 2d10, that. and you take the higher. Oh shit, 2d10. Oh, thank god. Please don't be one. But don't they- Don't you have disadvantage, though? Uh... Well, I, I, I think that singing wouldn't really cause- Oh yeah, that's fair. Alright, my highest roll was an 8. Alright, okay. so that's gonna be uh, 2 bonus. Let's go! Okay. Um, Alright, my bonuses are range aim and range guard for you or an ally. Uh, range aim or guard. Or... Um, so, do you want to give somebody advantage on hitting or give somebody uh, or give the opponent disadvantage on hitting one person? Uh -huh. That's the thing. I don't know if this is like the one to kill it. I don't even know. So maybe uh, I have I I can do like I can give one person something and then give the enemy disadvantage. Is that what I'm understanding or no? Yeah, you can do. That. Okay. Uh, sure, sure, I'll do that. Um, who hits a lot? <laughs> so far, probably one of the other two. Daisy. Yeah, give <laughs> give fuck it, give uh. I guess range aim to Daisy, if that's what that is. 
Yeah, that sounds <laughs> that sounds good. And fuck, uh, tell the archangel to fuck himself. Uh, who's the disadvantage gonna be against? Because he still has disadvantage against. Oh me. shit! Okay, I have to pick it against. Oh, you're right. Okay. Um. Uh, let's do a uh, a V stay. All right. So oh, nice. So you uh you raise your sword and you sing the song of imminent victory. And oh. victory screech. And, <laughs> and as you're screaming the song, uh, how much damage did you do? Four. Uh, it was yeah four. You do uh, you do four damage, and we'll say that you swoop in front of a V stay, and since. He can't target you. He's not going to be able to target a Viste. Oh, that's awesome. And it, it's back to Medi's turn. No, sad. Wait, no, it's... Wait, I thought it was... Uh, yeah, Viste's. Oh, yeah, a Viste's turn. I, I keep getting confused as to who rolled what. So, uh, go on ahead, do what you do. All right. So, let's see. Do I need to heal... It's the first question. Uh, can I heal multiple par- targets? I mean, ah, why did I ah, why did I not look this up first? Uh, no, I cannot. Okay, cool. In that case, it's probably no one's taken enough damage to actually, you know, get a lot of stuff. So I have advantage from uh, from um. From Jana. And this is accurate. But I will yeah, I'll I'll get up on a Viste. Alright, so now you have the two damage instead of the one for each. And uh so you're up on a Viste or uh Yavanti. And, and what up? And I think that, like, if he stays usually quite calm and, and sweet, but there's now just rage on their face and they're so angry. And, uh, but it's the kind of rage that is like, that almost has tears brimming in, your, brimming in your eyes because you're just so angry and it needs to get out any way you can. And their voice is all clogged up and they, uh, and they say, Yvonne, Let's let's hit him. Let's get him. And there is a, a grin spreads over Yavanti's uh, over Yavanti's um, be, uh, beak. Jesus, I can't talk tonight. Mouth, mouth. mouth yeah. Face. Thank you. Mind that thingy. <laughs> that th- that thing thing imaging. Yeah. Over. Yeah. A- <laughs> that that thing that be on the face of people sometimes. Yeah, and it has like teeth. And it's scary when you smile with lots of teeth. That's the thing that's happening. Oh, you mean eyebrows? <laughs> yeah, those. <laughs> those two. Anyway, <laughs> and uh, she glows and rises up and just lashes out with her tail. And um, I want to say that I uh, basically use shift and then aim. And then I'm going to hit it. Another tail swing? Yeah. So I get um, accurate from the thing, which is... I'm blinded, but I get accurate, and I have aim, and I have the advantage, which would be four dice, and I'm going to exchange one of them uh, for a plus... uh, I'm going to exchange two of them for a plus two, so that I roll two dice and then uh, get plus two to my roll. All right. Oop. Let's do this. Dice, you better roll well. That's a 10. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so that's so, a 12, technically. Nice. So Remember when we thought we were, like, weak? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it's not a this, thing, apparently. This fight is going to show you that you're stronger than you think you are. <laughs> yeah. Because Very this, motivational. Is a, uh, this is a boss level creature which is like the highest level 
So what's the max damage? Yeah. So um, what I'm gonna do actually is do flash shot, which means that she's not gonna lash out, but she's glowing and then. Um, and um, it's five damage, and this fucker is also blind. All right, <laughs> got him. So five damage. And blind, alright. So. Yes, and because I have... Um, oh, and because I have a thing, Smart Bomber, that means that my bursts, lines, uh, blasts, and waves may ignore my allies. Alright. So, you guys are not going more blind? Dope. Alright, so... Yeah. Omidas is looking very rough. His, uh, his, once this blast from, uh, what was the move again? Uh, flash shot. So once this, uh, this blast from the flash shot, uh, fades, his armor is in tatters. He's breathing heavily, and if he were a human... He would be bleeding heavily. Most, most of the feathers on his wings are just piled up in the fire circle in front of him. And he actually has a look of anger on his face now. But it's not his turn to do, uh, turn to do anything. It is now Medi's <laughs> turn. Oh and yeah, Medi... <laughs> Medi is going to go with what she knows how to do currently because she cannot uh, she knows that she's not going to be able to turn this fucker into stone until he's dead there so she's going to do magic missile again if it ain't broke uh, it. so <laughs> heist is a 5 <laughs> oh so it broke <laughs> Uh, so that's going to do two damage. <laughs> Which still ain't bad. No, that's pretty good. And uh, now it's Daisy's turn. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Make some angel wings. <laughs> Burn this chicken. Gladly. What's this? Uh, I forget what the rules are for support techs. Support techs, I think, can be used uh, as a utility. Yeah, it should say on your on the tech itself what it is, like. But it's usually utility or limit, I think. It's usually uh, utility or uh, offensive, I think. Okay. Ah. We're gonna target lock on the angel. Alright, so that's gonna give you advantage, right? Mm hmm. And we're gonna fire our dual wrist shooter. Alright, I'm gonna uh, fire you. We're so activating go on ahead machine and, guns. Go on ahead and roll. I think you're gonna still have disadvantage on this. Or, uh, not disadvantage, but it's gonna be cancelled out, so it's neutral. Yeah. Nine. All right. Uh, tell me what the total damage is. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. It's that that gets bonus two, right? Yeah. So that's damage base two plus one plus one. Four damage. The rolls have been really good. Oh yeah, they've been very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, were you gonna do anything else? Mm, I don't think I have much else I can do. All right. So now we go to Amidas. By the way, I'm only using this name because it's a uh, it's a nickname that a friend of mine used for when he was doing a YouTube channel, and it sounded. <laughs> It sounded, uh, intimidating enough, I guess. 
small. So what he's going to do... It sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. is, what he's going to do is he's going to look at the people who have been shooting him. It's a little confused. Uh, well, a little dazed, too. Because of the bright light that kind of went shooting back to him from Aviste's previous move. And he's going to notice the little tiny drone that's just hovering in front of him, burning him and peppering him with rockets. <laughs> and his face is going to go from neutral to angry to just a scowl of annoyance. And what he's going to do is a move called Longinus Strike. So he's going to lunge his spear forward. And he's got disadvantage, I believe, so... Uh, five doesn't give any bonuses, correct? Uh... What was the thing that... Because um, I remember Shine gave stuff to some people. I don't know if that applies here it or not. It applies to Aviste. Just I gave said? something up to Mars. I gave the aim, range yeah, you, aim. You gave the, the advantage aim. to Mars, which still wound up doing good damage. Okay. But, five, uh, five is base effect plus one. Okay, so... Uh, Daisy. Mm -hmm. You're reduced to one HP. Oh! Yo, no. Shit! No. No. Okay, okay, okay. So, launching a strike does base effect 9. If the target is wounded but not defeated after the attack, they are reduced to 1 HP, and the bonus is plus 3. Mm. So you're reduced to 1 HP. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So, and, so this like great. <laughs> and what he's going to say while he's doing this is I'm going to at least take this tribute with me. It hurts. So. No. Leon. Mm. <laughs> Liana. Don't fuck this up. Leon, this <laughs> this thing just kicked the group puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's effectively it. What are you going to do? <laughs> this is where we get serious. Uh, question: Do you think that I could get next to? Yes, you no, can. I being Leon, I you could can. run up to him. Yeah, I believe that the two of you share a link that kind of uh, surpasses sight. So, I feel like the two of you would know where each other were at all times. Okay. I'm going to have to make sure I do this properly, because what did I... Psychic see? twin. Yeah, basically the, the twin psychic mind Twin telepathy. Thing. Yeah, that. Okay, so that all, it makes every sense twin my... has. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, does it make sense for my simple action to be just rushing up next to um, next to Noel. Me being Leon, I guess. Yeah, or you can have Noel rush up to you since... Uh, I think Noel... I'm farther away, technically. From... I, I, I feel like you're a bit closer to Daisy than uh, than Noel is. And... Oh, I wasn't going for Daisy. Oh, um, yeah, but... I was going the, for uh, Big Bad. Big Bad is right in front of Daisy because he just, like, sl okay. stabbed her with the spear. Sure. Mm. Um, well, long story short, whichever one of us is farther away from the big you bad you gets both closer run to the big bad. into each other's arms. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is simple action. Um, uh, let's see. You do still have disadvantage, just so you know. Correct. Because of blind. <laughs> blind people. Because of a blindy. Um, 
So how do advanced text work? I just want to make sure I do this properly. Advanced you, text. You get... I you get to do, uh, you get to alternate between doing a basic tech and an advanced tech. Uh, so if you did a basic tech last round, you get to do an advanced one this round. But yep. you can't do an advanced tech, tech two rounds in a row. Gotcha, okay. So advanced tech okay. is like hyper beam. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. So, um,. Because this is how the way that it works here. Uh, so I'm just going to read. Most of your advanced and limit techs have the basic boost keyword. The way those work is as follows. Anytime your monster would use a basic tech, you may also use a basic boost tech as a free action and amplify its base effect and bonus effects. Other oh, yeah. still, like cooldowns and orgons still apply. One basic boost can apply to each basic tech. Both of us are... Okay, so... As you use a basic boost test tech, both of you must be functional and able to use offensive techs. So we are still functional despite blindness, correct? Yes. Great. All right. Um, so, so I can use a utility, and j just to make sure this is right, because I'm trying to stack up some damage points. Uh, c can I use a utility, monster attacks, and then I add the advanced tech? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that works. All right, buddy boy, let's figure out how this works. Um. Okay, so that means. Um. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to aim again. Aimings can stack as long as I'm aiming at the same target. So my aim is now double. Dope. And then... Because I think uh, as long as the... As long as the tech I think is the same and the target is the same, so... If I... Alright, so my game plan is I aim, so that adds an advantage. I'm going to go for Magic Missile, which is a third advantage and then I use the advanced tech of back to back as the free action there you go that's what it is oh yeah go for it great if I roll big this is about to do some do it so so that is three advantages minus the blind you can That's two advantages. Uh, yeah, and then if you want to, you can if you want to just roll two dice, you can take a plus one to whatever you roll instead of an advantage. Basically, you can exchange a dice for a plus one, a die for a plus one, so, if you wanted uh, to. One of the advantages cancels out the disadvantage, so he's only got regular advantage right now. Oh, fair. Yeah, I have three before the bonus. So I have aim for the previous round, aim for this round, and then accurate. Oh, so you do have uh, three after the cancellation? I think it's three before the cancellation, so it becomes two okay. advantages, okay. which is so three dice, dice, I think, basically. right? Okay, so yeah, yeah the, that's 3d10. All right, let's see what happens. Do it. Shit, 3d10. That's a nine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Hell nice. yes. All together or just one? Uh, the best was nine. <laughs> oh, right, fuck. So, so how much damage is that? And you also have, uh... The, nine is two bonus. Alright, so that's... Four? So it is two, three, four, plus... Five, six, seven, eight... That's eight total, and since me and my monster are both adjacent to each other after the attack, we both have guard. Hell yes. So you did eight damage to this. Hell yes. Eight damage and both of us are on guard. How do you want to do this? Yes. Um. Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> I think How do you I think I rush down... up. Uh, how do you take down the Archangel that 
called the order to destroy the town you lived in. Ooh. Um So uh so my 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 puppy friend got uh skadooshed a little bit, so uh now I'm a little perturbed because I I feel like before this entire time I was the only one that was like I'll actively listen to your conversation until everyone started fighting. Um, clearly, uh, Monster Boy over here was not a big fan of the whole uh, keeping people safe thing. Seeing as yeah, you kicked my puppy dog, so uh, <laughs> so when I rush up to so I rush up to Noel. Noel is about to like start uh, magic missling again, and. I think what Noel does is he just literally hands me one of his missiles uh, and says, here, let's play catch. And so... Uh, <laughs> and so as Noel starts blasting his own missiles, uh, I just set it up like a football and almost like pretend to be an announcer. It's like, and... I've always... <laughs> you, this is how you know it's weird. Uh, Le Leon uh, strikes a bit of a smile as... Uh, oh, he's... Oh, <laughs> the As most he character back... development Leon gets is a smile. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Much. Uh, Leon takes a couple steps back and uh, just says, "All right," and he goes for the hail mary, chucks it right into uh, whatever the the weak spot, whatever the weakest spot is right now. His I dick. Think, Boom. I would think directly in the face. Aw. <laughs> that too. You stay away from our little. You stay away from our from our little flower girl. <laughs> yeah, haven't you seen Dogma? Angels are eunuchs. Yeah, that's. I was like, there we go. I was about to send this actually. You must save my camera. Oh, that's not the one. So I, I throw it right at his at his face as it explodes. I just go, well. That's the game. And then, kind of like... Because I, I think he's... The way you're describing this, that he's down. And so... <laughs> Bro. <Bruh. All right. laughs> so, as you... As you basically destroy this angel, he falls to the ground, screaming, and his eyes and mouth just... Uh... Fill with this bright light as he screams in pain and rage and he turns to dust very slowly turns to angel dust <laughs> I feel like yeah. just to add on to uh, this um, Leon, not Leon, Noel goes, ha, I activate my trap card Exodia Summoner, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> and then the dragon mm -hmm. shows up. Wisdom shows up. <laughs> oh yeah, we were gonna get the dragon. Sabra. Andrew, and... you're a nerd. I love you. <laughs> hey, shout out so, to nerds. Yeah, for real though, Wisdom the dragon does show up. God. And he says, I'm here to assist. Here's your weapons. <laughs> well, he just late. clinks him he clinks him down to the ground and he's like what I miss. You're late. <laughs> Noel's like, you missed the Noel whole turns to all party. of us. I feel like Noel turns to all of us and says, Oh man, do we have to do that whole thing again? <laughs> so Wisdom just looks at the angel dust and says, No. Oh. Okay then. He just flies away. Oh, that's pretty nonchalant. <laughs> well, um... That... That guy. I mean, I can't believe it. That guy. He has no emotion. It's like he doesn't have a care in the world. It's like everything he does is just in a monotone voice. Deep. Not trying to think at all. Doesn't care one bit about anybody. How can you stand to deal with somebody like that? <laughs> I think at this point, uh, Yavanti just rolls her eyes and goes like, why do you think I'm not over there anymore? And uh, as you guys head over to the pile of weapons that Wisdom the Dragon just plopped onto the ground or the roof of this tower, 
I'll say that, Leon, you stumble a little bit. And you see Oof. the spear. The electric and radiant light spear that Omidas was holding. The one that he was very close to destroying Daisy with. Mm. Whoops. It's just there right. on top of the angel dust. Oops. So uh, yeah, that, I think that's, I think that's what he had on him. So free weapon. Uh, I think before anyone can do anything, Noel just goes mine, and then goes rushes up and grabs it. All right. And uh, the weapons I described in the previous session are what Wisdom brought. So the you little... did that off. You did that off record, though. Ah, damn it. So. I believe that uh, Joanna got a, what, a scythe? Mm-hmm. You got a scythe, and it's just oozing with what appears to be sentient poison. Ooh. I love murder. <laughs> uh, I, uh, for Leon... And Noel, there's one pair of pile bunker. Uh, it's like these gloves that shoot out pistons when you punch with them. For Daisy, you have an additional rocket attachment, so you can fire. You always get the one bonus whenever you fire your rockets, no matter what. And if you, uh, it's going to be like an additional bonus, so. Ooh. Oh yeah, because she de- because she doesn't do enough damage damage already, of course. And uh, Aviste, you get a leash. Aviste, <laughs> Yvonne just sort of picks it up with her claw and show uh, and looks at it and just like fury. <laughs> Unadulterated <laughs> fury, but then she turns up her nose and just y- goes to the ground. <laughs> Yavani <laughs> wants to go for walkies. However, the leash also doubles as a whip. Hmm. So if you hold it at the like collar end, mm-hmm. the handle will form into like a uh, like the line will form into like a rose thorn type whip. I can, for some reason, I just pictured like Noel distracting Daisy while Leon's like adjusting the rocket attachment, like putting it on, and Noel's like, "Hey, look over there! Ignore the ignore the the operation that's going on." And Daisy, while he's distracting you, you scan the area around you, and from the top of this tower, you can actually scan at a much farther range. And you do notice a lot of movement coming from the scar, the hellmouth. Ooh. As well as from the Fey Woods. But you don't you you're not able to extend your reach to the uh the Draconic Mountains where they nest. And Mehdi and the Rakshasa come up and say, we've we've taken care of at least part of one threat. But we do have a lot to talk about. We should meet at the hideout. Hideout? Yeah, what the fuck was our hideout? Let's all just hop on. Yvonne, are you okay with us hopping on you? Hmm. As long as you keep that thing far away from me. I suppose you can all hop on. What thing? <laughs> she points at the leash. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> are you just going to leave it on the ground? <laughs> I think if he said fuck it, probably. 
right. <laughs> so Viste pockets the leash that is also a rose whip. Mm-hmm. Uh, and all of you hop on Yavanti with Medi at the front giving directions to another ruined city. Another one that I haven't named. But in the underground of this city, there's... Rust. Oh. Is that the name of the city? Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll say it's the city of Rust. The underground of the city is going to be, uh, be just packed with elderly, sickly people and warriors. And Medi says, they won't find us here. We've made some security measures to ensure that. Now let's talk. We're going to end it here. Oh, oh dang. Oh, that... Good cliffhanger. Yeah, I, I figured that would be a good way to uh, end the arc. Oh, dang. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. What did you all think of that? That was awesome. Love it. I'm surprised we've gone through the entire thing without technical glitches, but... <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So, just so yep. you know, the Archangel had 60 HP to start with. I didn't want to tell you that, because I figured that would be way too intimidating. <laughs> oh my god. But, like, we, we legit, none of us actually got our Orgone. Yeah. That was a we very, very... That within two rounds. That was a very good fight. Mm-hmm. Daisy did half, you said? <laughs> Daisy... Daisy's a fucking Daisy did, machine, like, a third overall. Literally, but... <laughs> a yeah, killing literally. Machine. I was just gonna say, like, that's what she is. Daisy says, I crave murder! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daisy. Well, I mean... I crave nuggies. I mean, if you looked at the Hellmouth Club chat... <laughs> I have a bloodlust that cannot be sedated! <laughs> like right before right before uh we hopped in mars was like i'm gonna look at the blood knight stuff now yeah. <laughs> and then and then i turned mars to the side of bees 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 by the way i uh, if we do wind up picking this up you're all level four now Let's oh go. damn nice. oh, another level come on now I gotta remember that. Gosh, why you gotta give me more work, man? <laughs> you can, just, right, you so... can just like level yourself up already. So uh, yeah, but procrastination. Thanks to all of you for <laughs> listening, and thanks to uh, Anru, Jenny, Shine, and Mars for playing. I really appreciate you guys, and I had a whole lot of fun. Uh, yeah, thank you. For yeah, that was awesome. And maybe when we're in a less cursed time, we can pick this back up. Yeah. Impossible. We're we're in the bad timeline now. Yeah. Right now we're I in the darkest Mars. timeline, but we're in a timeline. I blame Mars. No. <laughs> Why do you blame uh, Mars? I don't know. <laughs> you you Cuz I can. You got to get on Mars' good side for when the robot apocalypse starts to happen. Oh yeah, when I'll I start assimilating. Scott here, as usual, hopping in at the end to, you know, thank you for listening, for following this far. This was the end of the first of many little side arcs for 
what's gonna wind up being my Hellmouth side project. And I hope you all enjoyed it. I certainly did. Instead of a promo, uh, I'm going to be promoting something for the Pokecasters Network, which, you know, we're part of. So, December 19th, that's 11 days from when I am recording this message. They're going to be doing a tabletop event for charity. And I'm just going to read out what they wrote. So, we want to announce our next charity event. We'll be raising money for the Pittsburgh Children's Hospital Foundation once again. Join us for a day-long tabletop tournament with some amazing podcasters, lots of prizes that you can take home, all proceeds help sick children. And we actually have a sponsor for that. It's going to be Giraffe Dice. If you haven't heard of Giraffe Dice, I'm going to have a link in the show notes for you to check out. The dice are amazing. With all that said, I'm just going to hop out here and say thanks for listening. Catch you later. What's All right, I've eaten more feel a lot better now. Oh, I'm I'm glad. All right, that's so good. I'm so glad. I'm glad you're feeling better, Shine. I ruined the first bit. Oh, you're no, fine. You didn't ruin anything. No, I did. No. 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 You're fine. Why, why would you ruin anything? Would you have ruined anything? Because I was kind of an asshat. No, no you're, you're okay. fine. Why? You're okay. Everything's you didn't do fine. anything bad at all. Exactly, I did nothing. You're okay. Well, to be fair, I've kind of just been sitting here as well the entire time. So I um, ate chicken shoot. nuggets, and that's about the extent of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got angry. <laughs> <laughs> so let's and this see. is big plot stuff too. All dogs. <laughs>